Hey guys, Troy here, back with another video today. We're gonna do, be doing a mail day with uh, some pretty big cards and some very big names. I'm wearing the soccer jersey today, so shout out to Kit Gallery PH for providing that. And even though I got that on, there's one soccer card and two pretty big basketball cards. So let's not waste any time, let's just get right into it. All right, so got our packages right here. The nice little background, not gonna show my address. Um, I'm gonna move these to the side. Cut them open. You guys are gonna have to forgive me if the uh, production quality isn't the best. I'm still getting used to, still getting used to not having a handy dandy uh, Scott helping me with these openings. So it's a little weird for me doing them in person, but still think it'll turn out pretty well, hopefully. But all right, first card, bam. Luka Doncic, BGS 9.5. Really nice looking card. Just love the look of this. You know, that shine right there. Oh, actually I didn't even know. I swear in the pictures, this was not supposed to be a true gem mint. I was almost positive it had a nine grade in there. So that's a really nice surprise, but you know, nice looking card. Good grade on there. Oh boy, shoddy camera work. Uh, there we go. But really nice looking, huge believer in Luca. Um, it's tough to get his cars at a affordable price point right now with how much they've risen. But this one I got for, well, I'll put it somewhere there, but I believe it was like $350, which hadn't risen too much from its off season price point and was definitely way down from its peak. So it's affordable. I'd rather have this. It looks real nice in the BGS slab. I'd rather have this than a Chronicles or or some of his other cheaper cards like a hoops. Um, yeah, I just, I love the look of this card and I love the look of it, especially in that BGS gold case. So really happy to have that. Ooh, next up, okay. Here's the soccer card. Boom, Neymar Prism PSA 9. Really nice looking card. Got this one, I think I remember it was $49. I talk a lot about these cards that are basically the cost of grading. This is one of them. Um, it was, oh, it's from ComC. Thanks for including that, ComC. But this was up over, I mean, well over $200 at, some, at one point. I wanna say over 400. But huge believer in Neymar, talented player. Um, to get in at this price point, no reason not to, basically, is what I would say. Um, already actually started to trend upwards a little bit. So got this one for an absolute steal. I uh, don't really like to mess around with raw cards when it's this old. I'd rather just buy it graded, especially when there's little to no premium being placed on the nine. Super happy I have this. I think there's going to be a lot of interest in Neymar. PSG could still do some things, you know, advancing in the Champions League and especially at the World Cup. You know, you talk about your Ronaldo's, your Messi's, they're uh, it not past it, like they're not good anymore because they are, but they are past their prime. Where Neymar is one of the best players in the world, one of the most exciting players in the world, and he's going to be firmly in his prime at the 2022 World Cup. So it's hard for me to imagine this one won't go up a little bit once we get there. And last but not least, and last but not least, this is actually a card that is not for me. This one is actually a pickup for my brother, who's apparently now the big spender in the family. Um, I like this uh, marketing we have at the front there. Probably have to take that off. Probably gotta take it out of the case just so you guys can see it better. But, boom. James Harden, Topps Rookie PSA 9. Really nice looking card. I love that it's, uh, vintage isn't the right word. We need. I need to find like a better word to say like, I guess before the major basketball boom, the last year of tops, really nice looking card. James Harden is currently in Vegas, partying it up, so. But even still, his card prices are rising. Uh, nice looking card. Or actually, I'm not even gonna say that. I'm not a big believer in James Harden, to be honest, but I am a big believer that his situation changes for one, I just see him being on a good team. Uh, I'd mentioned the Nuggets in another video, but I mean, imagine the Nets, that would be crazy. And his prices already are rising. 
And to get this card, which doesn't have an insane pop count for the price you get it, especially when compared to what guys who haven't proven anything are going for, I think this was a good pickup for him. Always pick up stars when you can. So good luck to you, bro, with this card. Hopefully it turns out well for you. And it'll be- What an idiot. And it'll be interesting to see what happens to Harden this year. But all right, guys, that's it for the video today. Really hope you enjoy. Just a quick mail day. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know what cards you like. Uh, also, make sure to like and subscribe, and we're gonna keep the videos coming. Thanks again.